Tevin Jenkins is developing into one of the best offensive linemen in the entire NFL. The Bears O-line started all five guys for the first time all season, however Lucas Patrick would not finish the game, but we did get to see a ton of positive developments as this O-line held its own the majority of the game. Darnell Wright had a great game versus Aiden Hutchinson and proved he's the real deal at right tackle. I could make an entire All-22 showcasing that. Braxton Jones would leave the game briefly, but he also had a really good game. However, today we're talking about Big Tevin Jenkins, who was just dominating this entire game and has been one of the best offensive linemen in the entire league over the last month of the season. Tevin Jenkins has not allowed a sack all season long and only two QB hits. He graded out as the best lineman in the entire NFL against the Saints. He then would continue that by holding his own against big Derrick Brown and the Panthers, even though he gave up three pressures. But then he dominated in Detroit against the Lions, not allowing a single pressure while also recording a couple of pancake blocks and some of the best blocks I've seen on film all season long. Let's head over to the film room and check out Big Tev's best plays. Let's get right into it. On this play, we're looking at Big Tevin Jenkins. Let's just watch him. Play starts. Looks like he gets beat. Oh my goodness. Let's go back here. Look at the great inside move by Lee McNeil. Looks like he beat him. But watch Tev's recovery here. He's going to fight back and just absolutely bulldoze McNeil out of this play. Tev is just an absolute bully right here. McNeil thinks he has a path to Justin Fields. Tev says no. Get out of the club. Look at this. That's an absolute bodyguard right there. Thinks he's going to get to the quarterback. Tev just says, no, you're not. Pushes him eight yards away from Justin Fields. Just absolute monster play there. Allows Fields to get this ball off to Cole Komet for a nice completion. You guys know what my favorite thing on this channel is pancakes let's watch tevin jenkins here again matched up with mcneil one-on-one -on -one. oh watch tev's technique and leverage as he gets off the line gets to the outside shoulder uses mcneil's momentum against him and just flattens him on the ground for a pancake allowing justin fields to run right by that's tevin jenkins as a monster you also remember this play on a big third and seven where DJ Moore catches the ball short of the first down, has a guy around his ankle, breaks the tackle, ends up picking up the first down. It was a huge play. But I want you to watch Tevin Jenkins and how he saved this play. He's special with his ability. Ball is hiked. We got to slow that down to watch this. Look at Tev. Tev has his man one-on-one. -on -one. Braxton's got his man blocked up, blocked up, blocked up on the outside. But look what Tevin Jenkins is going to notice. There's a free rusher coming through this gap. Tev is going to turn, give his attention to that guy while holding on to the other guy with one hand. And he's going to effectively block both guys. Watch how he realizes this guy is more of a threat. He's going to use both hands to block him. And then he's going to block this guy with his backside. No joke, Tev uses his butt to block a defensive lineman. This is so impressive. We're going to slow it down and just watch how this play develops in slow motion. You're going to see Tev, great job. Look at the head on a swivel, picks him up, blocks the other guy with his backside, gives Fields time to get the ball off to DJ Moore. Just so, so, so impressive. But this play right here by Tevin Jenkins, this is the touchdown pass to DJ Moore. And Tevin makes one of the best blocks I've seen all season. Let's watch slow motion here. Let's go back. Watch what he does here. He's blocking his man. Again, giving Fields time. But he sees Larry Borm get beat out of the corner of his eye. Look at him. 
head on a swivel. He's looking this way. He sees Larry Borum getting beat and knows Justin Fields is not going to have time to complete the pass downfield to DJ Moore. So what does Tev do? He shoves his man while staying in the way and then dives for the other guy, effectively blocks him, knocks him to the ground, gives Justin Field plenty of space to step up in the pocket. He could scramble if he wants, but instead he locates DJ Moore downfield and throws an absolute dime. But this play simply does not happen without Tevin Jenkins' incredible awareness and possibly the block of the year. What a play by big Tevin Jenkins. He is a Pro Bowl talent at guard. I think it's really important that I gave Tevin Jenkins his props for this game. It's one of the better offensive line performances I've studied on tape, especially for the Chicago Bears. But I have to showcase some of what Darnell Wright was able to do against Aiden Hutchinson. He didn't win every single rep, but for most of the game, he held his own and at times even dominated the guy. This is what you want for a rookie first round pick going against a guy who went number two overall last year and has been kind of a sensation with the Lions. Darnell Wright did not look out of place. He held his own all game. Watch him shut down Aiden Hutchinson's spin move, lock him up inside giving Fields plenty of time to complete the pass. This set was impressive. He showed the athleticism, the patience, the technique to block a guy like Aiden Hutchinson one-on-one -on -one all game long. You just love what you see from Darnell Wright. He's left on an island almost all game against Aiden Hutchinson, and he performed admirably. If it wasn't for the last play of the game, the one play where he got beat badly, he pretty much dominated him the rest of the game. This play right here is just a perfect example. He gets outside, takes away the speed rush, and then locks him up, allowing Fields to throw the touchdown to DJ Moore. What a block. And then watch him use Aiden Hutchinson's leverage against him, drives him to the ground, and flattens him. I was very impressed with what I saw from Darnell Wright as well. I can't talk about the offensive line without talking about Braxton Jones. A lot of people were confused when he left the game for a play. They wanted to evaluate him on the sideline for a concussion. I believe Braxton Jones' contact fell out and he couldn't see for a play and missed the refs trying to pull him from the game. It was no big deal. He came back and had an awesome game. But watch this move here. That's like an arm lock pancake. We'll call it a Braxton cake. Let's go back and watch this one in slow motion here. What is this move? Watch how the guy tries to dip underneath. Braxton's going to arm lock him behind his back and then flatten him on the ground for a pancake. Love to see it. And it's just one of those plays I had to show off. This offensive line is really developing right in front of our eyes and had one of their best games of the season in Detroit. We finally got to see all five of these starters on the offensive line for the first time all season long. It didn't last all game, but even after Lucas Patrick left and Dan Feeney would come back, the offensive line would start playing much better again. I still think we need a center long term, but looking at the other four guys on the line, I see so much potential. I will say Nate Davis got beat badly on a few reps against the Lions, but he is still getting back into shape, so I'm not holding it against him. But right now, the two weakest spots on the offensive line are going to be center and right guard, but I have faith that Nate Davis will turn it around. If we can get a center to stabilize this unit next year, Watch out, this offensive line could be really good. Darnell Wright and Tevin Jenkins are tone setters, like I told you guys all offseason, and they are giving this unit a physical, dominating presence. I can't wait to see these guys get better going forward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please remember to hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down. Swifty in the house!